Yes, I'm here to present this literature review, Managing the Work Environment, Meaning of Company Size and Work Organization. And it is a co-authored report uh, written by me, Maria Johansson, and my colleagues, uh, Anna Bey Jansson, Leif Berilund, Lena Abramsson, and Saila Pipola at Human Work Science, Luleå University of Technology. And as we have heard earlier this morning by uh, our introductory speakers and keynote speakers, uh, the world of work is changing uh, quite rapidly, leading to new opportunities and also new challenges. And uh, we have uh, uh, work environment uh, regulations that are developed in order to meet these uh, new challenges. For example, uh, about workload and stress and bullying. Uh, but how do companies go about meeting these uh, challenges and this development? Uh, and do they go about it differently depending on the, their company size or depending on work organization? Uh, the Swedish Agency for Work Environment Expertise initiated uh, and funded two parallel studies to investigate this. And uh, Annette Nyland uh, did a survey study, uh, in which is uh, a uh, particular report that will be available later this autumn, I think. Uh, and the other study is this literature review that I'm presenting to you. Uh, the aim was to identify academic articles to highlight either the relationship between company size and work environment management or work organization and work environment management. Uh, and we had uh, two research questions. Uh, and the, the aim and research questions are the same in this literature review as they are in the survey that Annette Nyland did. The first research question on uh, company size. How is work environment management described in relation to company size? And what differences are identified in between small, medium-sized and large companies, if any? Uh, and the second, about work organization. How is work environment management described in relation to work organization? Does the way in which work is organized create different conditions for the company's work environment management? We systematically search for academic articles uh, based on search phrases that were developed in collaboration with uh, Savi and with a librarian. And, and we had one set of search phrases for the questions on company size, and we had a different set of search phrases uh, for the uh, items on work organizations. So there are two uh, separate tracks in this report. We found 53 articles in total at the end, and uh, in these articles, there is a quite an even distribution between using uh, quantitative and qualitative methods. Uh, case studies is a common, common uh, method in these articles. They are all peer-reviewed and they are published from the year 2000 and onwards. Uh, almost half are from the Nordic countries uh, and a little less than half from other European countries. And there are also some articles from other countries, such as US and Australia, for example. 31 of the articles are related to company size and 22 to uh, work organization. So we move on to the results on the meaning of company size. Uh, what we found was that uh, work environment management was uh, often more structured and uh, systematic in larger companies. 
uh, for example, they, because they had more resources and they had more uh, expertise available, for example, from occupational health services. There are also indications that uh, larger companies in a, uh, are more likely to do investments in health promotion activities. Also, ma mainly because of uh, resources. But uh, not only company size was shown to affect work environment management. Uh, for example, economical situation was also an important aspect. And when it comes to small companies, those with less than 50 employees, many of the articles they took as a starting point that small companies are less inclined to implement work environment legislation. Uh, and this is also mainly referred to because of a lack of resources, but sometimes uh, it's also found a lack of interest and so forth. Uh, further, uh, small companies are described as a diverse group, so there's a need of, of uh, adaptable strategies uh, it is said that one size, one uh, size does not fit all. And the results on the meaning of work organization. Uh, here we found that learning at group and at organizational level is important. Uh, and we had articles that gave good examples of learning, for example, learning in networks and how it was related to uh, better work environment management. And there were also examples where a lack of learning, such as not learning from incidents, was related to, uh, was negatively related to work environment management. Uh, safety culture development, for example, was, a, uh, was also found to lead to knowledge transfer, which was positively related to work environment management. Uh, also, employee participation uh, is important when, when, change, uh, is, when change processes are made to enhance work environment management. Uh, and there were some successful strategies described in these articles. Uh, for example, to, it, to make uh, positive results visible as soon as possible for everybody that are involved. Uh, and also to involve all employees that are affected by the change. Uh, and to have an openness to identify problems. So, to conclude. Uh, company size was shown to ha be a significant aspect for the, effect, for the quality of work environment management, especially when it comes to the implementation of work environment legislation uh, and also investment in health promotion activities uh, and, and investment in occupational health services. Uh, but company size was not the only uh, aspect of importance. Uh, it will also found that industry or economical situation uh, or the external context of the company or organizational structure and culture was also relevant. Uh, small companies are different from each other. Uh, so these are, there are articles here that urge us to to develop adaptable strategies to help these companies with their work environment management. Uh, and connected to work organizations, it was learning processes at group and organizational level that was found to be important, uh, both in terms of network-based uh, learning and uh, competence development and also safety culture development that was seen to have effects on work environment management. And employee participation at all levels of the company, uh, both by employees and their managers, were important in these change processes, uh, that they felt uh, autonomy to be able to 
be a part of the change and to make change happen and be committed to the task at hand. Oh, thank you. Feel free to contact me or ask questions.